Hello friends. In this session, we are going to discuss regarding the cleaning agent. In the housekeeping department, cleaning plays an important role or it has a topmost priority of the housekeeping department. As we are aware, the housekeeping department works in the any organization, any institutions or any establishment such as especially in accommodation industry, whether it's a hotel, hotel in terms of eco hotels, motels, heritage hotels, sit down hotels, luxury and leisure hotels. In all the places, in all the accommodation units, housekeeping is the one which contributes in the revenue generation at a very large percentage. When we are talking about the cleaning, yes, the housekeeping is the one which is responsible to offer and committed to provide a clean, safe, hygienic and the sanitized environment to the guests. There are so many articles are present in the hotels. It may be in the public area or it may be in the rooms of the guests. And there are so many articles when we are talking about. They are made up with a different, different things in the material. It includes not only the table, the chair, fan, whereas it also includes about the floor, racks, remotes. That means we are going to focus minor to major articles, whichever is present or whichever are present in the rooms as well as in the public area. When we are talking about the public area, yes, of course, there are n number of lists we can count it, such as lobby, parking, gymnasium, swimming pool, recreational area. Recreational area like uh, those things where the gas refuel their energy and become more energetic after these activities. Yes, of course, some of the hotels are offering Tropic Arcade and the library to the guest. So it is a primary responsibility of the housekeeping department to maintain the both, whether it's a public area or the floor, the gas room. Yes, of course, the floor supervisor and the public area supervisor are the responsible one to check to maintain the cleaning. Apart from that, they are going, these two are going, also going to report the deputy housekeeper as well as the auxiliary housekeeper, which gives the timely instructions about the activities which mostly regarded and related with the cleaning. So in this video, we are going to learn about the cleaning agents. Hi, my name is Umang Bhartwal, Assistant Professor, School of Hotel Management, Suresh, Gyan University, Jaipur. Objective of the session are to understand the cleaning as active, to understand the types of cleaning activities, to understand the role of cleaning agents, to know different cleaning agents and uses, to understand the use of cleaning agent. That means in this session, in this one, we are going to more focus and gain the knowledge, impart the, I'm going to impart the knowledge amongst the viewer for this important activity. We do at our home as well. Every day, every day we do. And it is not only important for the professionals of housekeeping, housekeepers, but also the individual one, whoever is looking for a, and interested to keep themselves in the clean, hygienic environment. So let us start with the things, cleaning agents. For the cleaning, we required some cleaning agents. It may be a 
equipment or it may be a liquid or any solution anything when we are talking about the cleaning agents are perhaps the most critical aid of housekeeping staff in their job to keep their house neat and clean cleaning agents in general can be defined as natural and synthetic substances that are used to assist the cleaning process cleaning is primarily the removal of the dirt and the dust that means we are going to focus to remove the dust and the dirt which is present everywhere in every part of the world every place when we are talking about the substance yet these are natural and the synthetic one synthetic substance which creates the uncleaning atmosphere or the things in the gas room as well as in the public area there are various kind of cleaning agent used for the housekeeping staff are as detergents deodorants acid cleaner laundry aids alkaline cleaners polish solvent cleaner floor seal disinfectants and abrasive see in this list if you most of you know most of you are already using but you we have to understand this one that where we are going to use you also know i'm sure that you also know about where we are going to use different kind of cleaning agents and where we are using that one like the detergent if you are talking about yes this one is we are using in the laundry to wash the cloth it may be comes in the cake form or may be comes in the powder form before applying the detergents on the cloth to make the cloth clean it is important to dissolve or the cloth should be dipped in water so that we are going to able clean our cloth in a proper manner apart from that apart from that we have to raisin the cloth properly so that the detergent are not going to be in the cloth present in the cloth when they are going to be iron and wear by the gas or the human beings when we are talking about the acid cleaner yes we are using that one on those things as well as we are using that one on some of the places which are present in the washrooms like the plot wc which helps to keep the outlet clean as well as it makes the bacteria free then the then cleaner where we have to remove some spot and the stain the solvent cleaner we are going to dissolve the solvents is in fact and like we are going to make the places things and the cloth insects bacteria and microorganism free which are of course not good for the health deodorant which gives a pleasant smell or the odor into the environment or it is going to make the mood of the man and the human beings so the deodorant we are using over here then the laundry aids yes here we are using some of the chemicals to make our cloth spotless and stain free polishes yes we apply polishes it may becomes in the wax form or it may becomes in the liquid form for the different different for example here most of us are using polish for our shoes now the shoes polish come in the two form in the wax or in the liquid the only thing is we need to have understand this when we are using the polish or keep in mind that whenever we are going where engage with the activity of polish the area should be clean properly it should be dust free it should be moisture free or there should be no water droplets over there 
Then we have to rub the things after application of the wax polish in a circular manner. That means we have to use the hand motion in, in a clockwise or anti-clockwise manner so that we are going to generate the better shine and a better coating onto the things. Then the floor seal. If you are talking about the floor seal, we are using this seal to clear the to make the, our floor more impressive, more spotless and more in shine. Of course, with the help of that, we are going to increase the shelf life as well of the floor, which is the topmost concern of the every housekeeping department in every establishment of accommodation, whether it's a heritage one, city hotels, Downtown, downtown hotels, airport hotels, motels, eco hotels, floaters, everywhere. Then the abrasive. Abrasive are the one which helps to keep the aesthetic sense and upkeep the or increase the shelf life of the articles. Water. Water is referred as a universal solvent, and this is the prime agent in the cleaning process. However, through an excellent solvent, water alone is not an effective cleaner to meet the standard. That means water is regarded as a universal solvent. Solvent means those things, water has a feature which absorb everything and dissolve everything. That is the main priming, prime agent. But yes, we have to add some solution, some chemicals as a cleaning agent in order to make the cleaning standards at a high level. Most hotels required water is supposed to be surfactant, surface active agent. The things which are going to dissolve into the water are detergent. Now detergent we are using for the cloth aspect I'm talking about over here. Detergents are maybe made from a base of either pure soup or organic chemicals. Detergents are two types. Soapy detergents. Soapy detergents is made from the animal and the vegetable fat and may be used as a solid block for washing skin and cloth. For flake of washing, dedicated fabric or a powder of washing for the soft fabric. Soap is made by boiling fat with the strong alkali. That means, so I was I, like, I already given the example that we are getting the soap cake. Soap comes in the cake form. And of course, the soap we are getting from the nature, especially from the animal's fat and the vegetable's fat. When we are talking about the soap, yeah, we are using soap for the skin and the cloths. Apart from that, we are also mainly using the detergents in terms of so for for the fabrics of course are as a powerful for the washing of soft fabric and it is a combination of fat and the alkali example coconut oil provides a soap which is a quick to lather excellent at cleaning now the coconut oil we are using i just want to ask you uh, like impart the flavor that people are so many people are Confused like coconut, they should call a oil or they should call a coconut fat. Now, there is a two one difference I would like to share with you about the oil and the fat. Oil are those things which remain soft, liquid at the room temperature, whereas the soap are those which become solid at the room temperature and below the room temperature, whereas the oil remains in the liquid form. As we are aware, there are three kinds of form liquid solid and gaseous form so here people are too much confused about the coconut whether it's a coconut oil or the coconut fat synthetic detergent synthetic detergent is made from organic chemicals derived from the petroleum these are used extensively in housekeeping they are used for cleaning tasks and for washing of the floor they may be in the form of powder liquid gel and crystal that means the synthetic one which you are getting 
from the petroleum and this is the one which is using which the housekeeping department using in a very frequent manner and of course extensively at almost whichever wherever it is required it comes in the form of powder liquid gel or crystal acid cleaner acid used as cleaning agent may vary from mild acid example aryatic acid or a strong concentrated hydrochloride acid acid should be used in solution followed by prohibiting all expect citric and acetic acid should be used under supervision with extreme precautions or cautions and with the protection of the rubber gloves the strong acid are corrosive and corrosive example citric acid acid side acetic acid used for the matter dilute the hydrochloric acid to remove the lime skin from sanitary wear or oxalic acid oxalic acid removing the sub stub bonds water stain from the hard floor and sanitary wear that means when we are talking about diacetic i would like to take the few names over here one is lemon another one is tamarind these are the two acidic substance in the things which we are using which we get it from the nature we are using a lot especially lemon on the copper it give a amazing shine in the same manner when the lemon is not available then we can go with the tamarind where the tamarinds are available at large amount say for example at the coastal area of the sea and of course these two play an important role really an important role when we are going to clean the utensils in the religious places like temples mosque church and many more as we are aware that these are the natural one when we are talking about the citric acid and the acetic acid for the metal cleaning i have given i have shared one example we can use lemon for the to clean the copper lemon juice to clean the copper if the lemon is not there then we are going to use the tamarind one now this is one of the best example with the help of that you can easily understand apart from that the acid is also makes the sub surface area bacteria free microorganism free and it is easily available everywhere so in case if you don't have a specific acid don't worry about it just use that one that's my personal submission to all the viewers alkali cleaners alkali based clean agents are used in laundry and are particularly good for removing grease that means alkali is the best one to remove the grease and now the grease on the hands and the cloths there are so many such activities mans do which containing the grease say for example four wheeler having a lot of grease even the machines and the equipment were giving the grease for the proper friction for the proper working without a soundless average strong alkyl materials are also known as caustic in simple word if you are talking about and in general mark in the in the market it is available with the name of caustic material and the extremely corrosive and the poisonous porosius they must be used under strict supervision example sodium carbonate washing soda it is used to soft water and remove light grease mark sodium hydroxide caustic soda remove grease from grill and block drains sodium hydrochloride bleach whitening and removing stains from the hard and soft surface see there are three kind of caustic we are, we are using or available in the market and depending upon the nature of work nature of substance we are going to get we are going to apply these one say for example sodium bicarbonate it is used in soft water okay? as we are aware the waters are in two types one is soft water another is hard water soft water will not generate more bubbles in the water 
on the surface whereas the hard water creates lot of bubbles on the surface of the water because the frictions is there hard water having more minerals or right, this one creates the more frictions apart from that sodium hydrochloride spastic soda which is known as removing grease from the grills and the block drain sodium hydrochloride bleach whitening and removing substance from the hard and soft surface solvents clean up these cleaning agent are used extensively for dry cleaning and for stain removal they all have strong fumes and should be used in all in a well ventilated room solvent are used for cleaning grease or polish surface solvent will evaporate and so they are ideal for cleaning windows mirror and the picture frames examples methylated spray tryptine white spray acetone used for removing the stain from the hard and the soft surface now when we are talking about the hard and the soft surface yes we can say that the cloths having the soft surface rubbers having a soft surface apart from that when we are talking about the hard surface there may, there, there will be a piece of stone wood and the thick plastic the synthetic one like the chopping board now these one we are using on the hard and the soft surface depending upon the nature of work name is methylated spray disinfectant disinfectant should be used in area where harmful germs are likely to exist disinfectant kills the harmful bacteria most disinfectant having a strong smell and therefore should be used in recommended amount of area where the germs control is required example the in disinfectant examples are phenyl they are used in dilute or concentrate to disinfectant surface in the hospital now in hospitals we know that there are the most of the people approach the hospitals when they are not feeling well or they are sick or maybe they are having some spreadable disease as per the concern of covid 19 as per the concern of covid 19 the corona virus is going to be laid down on any surface it is a transmissible transferable a transmissible bacteria microorganism and the virus one thing i would like to impart over here remember one thing that the virus is different from the bacteria and the microorganism we are going to this we are going to inactivate the bacteria and microorganism by giving some treatment but virus is the one this takes long time and process to become inactivate or kill as for the concern of bacteria and microorganism yes we are able to kill or inactivate by heating process or by temperature above 100 and near by 100 degree they all the bacteria are going to be killed but in case is some of the bacteria remains after that treatment we are going to keep the things into the refrigerated or below the temperature of 5 degree celsius which inactivate the bacteria but virus is not going to be killed at at this temperature they are not going to be killed at the around more than more than more than about 400 degree they are not going to be killed so it's very difficult but only thing is by the using of this these these in disinfectant we are going to clean the surface the name is phenyl halogens the element chlorine and the iodine iodine may be used as disinfectant now halogens are the liquid which is made up or having a two elements one is chlorine and the iodine with the help of that we are going to clear the disinfectant area here again the important aspect when we are visiting any like after accident or when we get any body scratch then all the doctors are going to be and the medical staff is going to clean the part of the body with the help of chlorine 
and in present scenario during the covid so many people are going to take the gargle with the hot water they are they are using the betadine and the betadine is made up with the one with the help of these one even the betadine is also helpful to clean the disinfectant free our mouth deodorants these are the agent for disusing bad smell they concentrate state order still order and sometime introduce fragrance in the area they are used in guest rooms bathrooms and the public area they are available in liquid powder and the crystalline blocks examples naphthalene balls serve as effective deodorants when we are talking about the naphthalene balls yes we are using the naphthalene balls in order to make our linen our cloth growth free bacteria free for a longer period of time especially with the woolen and of course when we are talking about the napkin also keep the when we are going to use the napkin balls in the outlet of the water say for examples sink vanity area then it is going to impart the smell apart from that it also make the area bacteria organism and insect free laundry aids laundry aids which are used as cleaning aid material contain softening stiffening agents in the fabric container polish polishes are cleaning agent which are applied to the surface to form a hard protective layer and thus guard against finger mark stain and scratches that means the polish is also helpful to make the place finger marks stain free and scratch a pleasant shine as i told you polish wax and liquid and apply with the motion of clockwise and anti clockwise movement of the hand for that we have one machine also that is known as polishing machine which having a pad and that moves either in the so in the circular way either clockwise or anti clockwise metal polish which is used to polish the metal such as brass or brass copper furniture polish to polish the wooden material wooden articles especially table especially table and of course the bat i'm talking about the bed bat not the bed bat the bat we are using and the most of the bats are prepared from the wooden articles the wooden pieces wooden part then the metal polish furniture polish and floor polish when we are talking about the metal polish yes is the one metal is the one really metal is the one where we need to polish on a regular basis why we do polish i i already shared with you to keep the aesthetic sense appearance apart from that the polish also helps to increase the shelf life and it also helps to keep as new as possible for a longer period of time and then the last one is it makes our surface area scratch free floor seal floor seal can be either solvent and the water base it is applied to a floor surface to form semi permanent protective barriers which will prevent the entry of dirt liquid grease stain and bacteria depending on the traffic they receive they must last for up to 5 year before replacement is necessary example olio resonates the noise these are clear solvent based sealer used on work wood cork and magnetic floor the consist of oil resins and the solvent one part plastic they are made up of the synthetic material they are used 
onward rock and the magnetic flow pigment silo these silo contain color pigments which provides color and also strengthen the silo they are used in wooden concentrate and the stone flow abrasive abrasive or the substance or the chemical that depends on the rubbing or scratching action to clean dirt from hard surface they are used to remove wear stud bond strain from various surface example fine abrasive jewelers rose a pink oxide of iron used to shine silver hard abrasive sand paper fine ash pumic stone steel wool are commonly used abrasive storage of the cleaning agents now we are very much particular very much uh, we can say that the we need to keep in mind and very much focus about the storage of the cleaning agent ensure that the storage racks are sturdy heavier container must be kept on the bottom shelf level all containers neatly with the waterproof mark ensure that the lid are tightly secured when dispensing cleaning agents are used are used for appropriate dispenser and measures apprentice avoid spillage if a spill occurs clean it immediately follow a systematic procedure for roasting stock cleaning storage of cleaning agent ensure that the storage rack are sturdy have your container must be kept on the bottom shelf label all container need neatly with a waterproof mark ensure that the lid are tightly secured when this dispensing cleaning agent use appropriate dispenser and measuring apparatus avoid spillage if the spill occurs clean it up immediately follow a systematic procedure for the rotating stock selection of the cleaning agent now this is the this is again an important aspect that which agent we are going to select to clean what kind of surfaces this include lot of brainstorming and of course experience we can learn it from the suggestions of others as well yes if you if you are not aware if you are not aware then we can take the help of our colleagues our seniors i have a few more like in my, here when i don't know something i take always used to take the suggestions from my colleague and i will learn the things from my colleague i, I have a very experienced person over with me in the upcoming classes i'm going to take the name of these one as well really now selection of the cleaning agent the following points need to be considered while selecting the cleaning agents the type of soilage the type of surface composition of the cleaning agents use of easy to easy of use saving of time and efforts toxicity toxicity or the side effect and the, the last one is the cost effectiveness that means what kind of soil we are having on the surface or in the nearby area in the surrounding then what type of surface whether it's a wooden metal stone what kind of is that one of course the wooden also are divided into different different category metals are in the different one different categories like we have a iron copper silver gold brass and alloy and of course when we are talking about the floor we have a different kind of stone it may be a quartz stone it may be a marble it may be a granite and many more and the composition of the cleaning agents like the elements which are present in the cleaning agent we have to be focus over here really we have to be more focus the reason is these cleaning agents may harm may harm the surface area so this part is going to be toxic and the side effect when we are talking about the cost effective yes the things should be cost effective apart from that apart from that we are also going to consider that how much cost we are incurring to maintain to get the things 
to get the material to get the things in term of table in term of flooring in term of surface and the many more and apart from that the agent cleaning agent must be easy to use saving of the efforts and the time these are the two main aspects really two main aspect easy to use and save the efforts and the time the cleaning equipments here i am going to discuss about the cleaning equipments which can be broadly classified into the manual equipment manual equipments when we are talking about there are so many it may be a broom dust pan dust bins the small as well as the manual then the mop when cleaning equipments the types uses hand brushes hard brushes hard brushes have bristles that ha are fairly stiff and well spaced out they are the most suitable for removal of heavy soil and a little litter from the carpet and for the cleaning rough surface example dust scrubber for the floor soft brushes soft brushes have bristles that have that are fairly flexible and the sat close together they help to remove the loose soil and little litter on hard and smooth surface such brushes may be designed to dust carpet and the furniture and especially those that are made of can and rickers examples are moster brush broom soft crystal broom these brooms are made with the corn fiber grass and are used for the smooth floor hard brooms the, these brooms are made up with the coconut fiber and are used for porous surface especially outdoor wall room wall broom these are the ceiling broom for trucks head these brooms are used to remove cobweb or dust from the ceiling and high ledge box sweeper these are also called as carpet sweeper and are used for sweeping up the dust from the smooth floor covering such as rugs and the carpet a box sweeper consists of a fraction brush that revolves when the equipment is pushed manually over the carpet and the floor the dust gets collected into the built in dust pan mop dry mop static mop consists of a acrylic nylon or polyester stand polyester stand fixed to a parking stretched over a metal frame these are used for holding the dust by sweeping wet mop kidney mop wet mop is having a kidney mop now pinky mop when we are talking about consists of a cotton stands fixed to the length of cotton fabrics which in turn instead into a metal flat stick flat stock do all map these mop consist a stand of twisted cotton fixed in a circular metal plate which in turn is fixed to a stock post mop post mop this consists of dense cotton bridges insert into the heavy metal stock squeezy a squeezy uh, for a long metal handle and a wooden or a rubber blade to remove excess water from the surface being cleaned it is used when the area are scrubbed and washed cloth swept or washed now the cloth swept these are closely woven cotton cloth absorbent material and are used for damp wiping on the floor surface also used for sanitary fitting the bus wash basin screen these are the loose woven linen material resembling fine silk cloth highly absorbent and lint free in nature used for cleaning mirror and the windows chamois leather this is the skin of the chamois goat antelope antelope is a scientific name now here we are using the skin of the goat as well and is used for the cleaning window and the mirror when dry and also for polishing silver and the other material dust sheet 
they are the discarded linen either from the bed sheet or curtain from the linen room and is used to cover flooring furniture and the other articles during spring cleaning or rear de decorating rugs these are made by corsera fine corsera or a clean plastic and they may be of the size of carpet square and are placed on the floor on the doorway to prevent excessive dirt being brought in or out during bad weather or during redecorating projects racks these are disposable cloths obtained from the swing room and are used to apply polish or strong cleaning agents and are disposed of when it is dirty that means we are using such kind of things and the mops we have go through in that very dark manner now i am going to present the quiz to you this one will help you better way to understand the about the cleaning so here i would like to use the quiz here we have a quiz training is regarding the cleaning is impart develop the technical skill learn the new technology to motivate i think yes the training imparts a lot of things and all the points are falls into that one training designed by finance security human resource department and account departments i think we know it very well that which is was the one which is going to develop the one design one apart from that who gives the training for bad making floor supervisor laundry supervisor horticulture supervisor and the public area supervisor as per the concern of gas room gas room the gra gas room attendants which may be who may be called as a maid roommate or the room attendant do lot of works for the for the preparing of the rooms when we are talking about these one yes the floor supervisor is the one who supervises the activities and the cross check with the checklist as per the concern of sops and the standard operation procedure of the room attendant activity the supervisor is the one who inspect the room floor supervisor is the one who inspect the gas room laundry supervisor when we are talking about that deals with the laundry operation and laundry is a place we are going to remove the stain the spots from the cloth as we are away as we have learned it over here we are using the detergent and the water water is a solvent that's why we are using we are not using oil over here we are not using fat over here the reason is they are not dissolvent but yes the water is a good dissolvent that's why we are using over here and the laundry supervisor must be ensure that the linen is going to be prepared in such a way which is at par with the standard of the hotels and the housekeeping department apart from that there are so many kind of linens and of course the laundry supervisor also deals with the cleaning part of the gas articles yes the runner is going to collect the gas articles from the laundry and from the gas and deliver to the laundry for the cleaning purpose after the cleaning the runner is again going to hand out to take the handover of linen and hand it over to the guest yes you see it is a chargeable service in the hotel horticulture supervisor the horticulture supervisor is going to supervise the activity of the gardener and the florist public area supervisor is the one who maintain the cleaning aspect in the public area and of course the articles which are present over there so i think for the bad making when we are talking about floor supervisor is the one correct one is the dash is the formal and systematic modification of behavior through learning training education analysis and ed instructions when we are talking about the behavior of learning i think the formal way is training training across as a result of inspection education development and all the above so that what we are the one you have to look training refers to the process of imparting dash skills specific general important and overall now 
Dash is concerned with more career growth than immediate performance, training, education, instruction, and development. Development concerned more with Dash, immediate performance, succession plan, career growth, all the points include. Dash is a theoretical learning of classroom, development, training, education, and teaching. Which of the following of the below does not describe the nature of training? Application oriented, broader perspective, specific tasks, none of the above. So you, with the help of these questions, you can develop yourself for the higher positions in the housekeeping department. Hope uh, you understand about the cleaning agents, which I have discussed either in terms of equipment or the other things material and we have to we have learn about the points which we need to keep in mind when we are going to use and select the cleaning agents now thank you so much for watching my video i hope i have delivered the appropriate informations which enhance your cleaning skills and ability thank you so much for watching this one